Inside this courtroom a few moments ago, this victim was quickly reduced to tears and sobbing when she described how the pediatrician she'd been seeing since she was a child allegedly sexually molested her at age 18 on the first appointment she had ever had when her mom or a nurse wasn't in the room. The victim testified she was seeing Dr. Ernesto Torres in April to discuss the effectiveness of a new prescription for anxiety. But once alone in an exam room, the victim testified an unexpected physical exam began. The victim said Torres had her lie back, put his hand down her pants, and touched her sexually for more than five minutes as she sobbed and while he carried on a conversation about her emotions. He was standing over me. I couldn't get up, the victim testified. I was very emotional and I was crying. She testified she emerged from the late Friday afternoon exam to find that the office staff was gone and that she had been left completely alone with Dr. Torres. She reported the assault two days afterwards after disclosing what happened to her parents. We teach them to trust their doctor, Prosecutor Joyce King said in her opening statement. He violated that trust in horrific ways. A physical exam is not part of a med check, King continued. He knew he was going to be alone with her. He knew no one was going to be around when she left. Torres has been a trusted pediatrician here in the Frederick community for 40 years. But after prosecutors announced his indictment in May, 23 more victims have come forward to make allegations. In Frederick, Scott Broom, WUSA 9.